So I went to the Oregon coast on August 9th and 10th down to a place called Otter Crest, which is next to Newport or the Punch Bowl, if anyone's familiar with that. Uh, this is not a National Geographic special. You'll be able to tell from the poor quality of lots of my recordings, but I'm just doing a quick survey of an area of the beach I could get at. And the first day up to the first digital recording is I didn't go as far out into the water as I could on the second day. And there's lots and lots and lots of these little black snails. And I remember in the past looking at streams that were really poor quality for the fish, and I remember all these black snails, so I'm thinking that might be similar on the coast as it is in streams, but I'm not sure. These are mussels, which I incorrectly identify. So I asked another couple who's been walking up and down. near Newport and this is a book from a few years ago and they've got a few pictures in here so this I saw no starfish I asked some other people who were looking around as much as I was they saw no starfish I saw a couple of green sea anemones by them, they're lonesome. And there, was no, there was no grass by them that I remember, and there were no pink Cora lilina. There were, this was a this is a biologist who did this. She was hoping other people would keep the book going, but not really. And I did see some groups of sea anemones, so it's not totally dead down there. And I saw quite a few seals. So there's a group of seals down there, flat area. This indicates all the stuff I'm going to find on the beach, see? Look at all the stuff I'm going to find on the beach. Holy moly. Look at all that. Now, I saw no crabs. I saw a couple crab shells, but it, I'm sure I would see lots of little small crabs in the past, which I saw none of. Huh. 
permit ground. And I'm at a, uh, <clears throat> I'm at a negative tide, six in the morning. So I'll be able to walk out there, 10th of August, Friday. grass left there. And then a little bit of the red stuff which I don't remember the name of. Fish there. There's some life, but I don't see any starfish. With all those pictures of starfish clinging to the rocks, don't see any. But there's tons of these mussels. I think that's what they are, is mussels. And I saw an ad on TV to go to the Oregon coast and get your muscles so that's seems like a bit of a new low for seafood to me I think the starfish are the top predators. So, I don't know if they're not here. I don't know. The, the top predator of a tide pool in the tide pool. So, there's one of the little fishies. There's a bit of life down here that I didn't see earlier. So here's a starfish. I can see two legs and I don't know about the rest of it. I'm not going to dig it out. It looks a little funny from here though. I mean, that looks pretty funny. I think that's a starfish. Three arms? I don't know. Anyway, it was over an hour wandering around down there, and I saw the two starfish. So I'm at very low tide. And here's the side of one of these rocks. And there should be a starfish clinging to that. Like in the pictures, but I don't see any starfish. There's lots of these anemones. The uh, purplish ones. It's not pretty far out. I just wanted to look up here because this is where I took the other pictures from. There's lots of kelp up here, but I guess it's normal. Water comes in 
<clears throat> the ground level water comes in at that uh, strata there. It's all wet below it and dry above. See, I was taking a picture of the beach. So here's a big old starfish that the people I talked to pointed out, and it doesn't look like it's doing too well. It fell off the rock, but it's got five arms. So that's about where I was, my furthest point. And there's where I found the cliff from. No seals yet, they must be eating. So I was just trying to see how much different kinds of life I could find down there. So these are just uh, gnats or something. A little swarm of bugs. And that snag was about twice as high before. But it broke off, and all the vultures and American bald eagles used to sit on it. So that's gone as an indicator. August 10th. So I'm going to say overall it's uh, in pretty poor shape if you look at any kind of predators. There's still vegetation, so to speak, but it doesn't look in very good shape to me from my unscientific survey. Thanks.